right, I'm going to go ahead and address the ultimate shill list of interconnected snakes. Okay, first and foremost, my name is on this list. I don't like it when people call me out but can't back themselves up in regards to their accu accusations. And so, therefore, um, I feel the need to uh, address Trample on Snakes 4, who is a shill channel themselves. Okay, and this channel belongs to Occult Science 101, a.k.a. Billy Boy, the comedian of YouTube. YouTube, okay. Um, now notice that Occult Science 101 is not listed in the shill list. Uh, neither is True Theory 3. I, tr I find that to be quite uh, suspicious, um, as well as other people that are named on this list who are actually working with. Uh, Occult Science 101 Trample on Snakes 4, who owns many, many other channels on YouTube, okay? Um, now, first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and point out what a shill is, okay? The very first person on this list, Dabu777, which Trample on Snakes, a.k.a. Billy Boy, is pointing at, obviously is a shill. How can we tell that? Because he is actually pointing and offering his flock uh, media stories, okay? Um... We all know the channel. The stories that are being put out are bogus stories that are owned by the Synagogue of Satan, okay? If you are a, quote, researcher or a truther or whatever you want to call yourself who claims that you have some sort of truth, but you are not calling out the Synagogue of Satan, a.k.a. Revelation 2.9 and 3.9 in the Bible, um, you're a shill, okay? It's as simple as that because there are people at the top, the very top level, who are above people like Dabu, okay? So those people, if those people, aka they're called Canites in the Bible, if they aren't called out by people that claim that they are truthers, um, then these people are shills. That is the only way that you are going to be able to identify what a shill is, okay? Um, another way in which to identify a shill are people who are pointing at specific agendas, okay? Um, a couple of agendas the, that people usually point at are the alien agenda, the reptilian agenda, pointing at Nazism. Does Trample on Snakes point at those agendas? Of course he is. Is he mentioning the synagogue of Satan, aka those who are ruling the world, those who are mentioned by Jesus Christ in the Bible uh, in Revelation 2.9 and 3.9? No, absolutely not, because he's too busy being a shill, pointing at uh, the Nazi agenda. Okay, when is the Nazi agenda going to die down? Never, okay? Even though these so-called war criminals are now in their deathbed and some are uh, hanging on by their last leg being 99 years old and 100 years old and people uh, that are now no longer with us are still a threat to people like Billy Trample on Snakes, okay? Um, that boogeyman is dead and gone, and uh, but the agenda still lives on because of shills like this, okay? Um, now, I have a list of my own, and fortunately for me, I like to be able to identify people that are on my list. Like I said, Trample on Snakes protecting Jerusalem, Alex Jones protecting Jerusalem. All these people, if they are not speaking about the synagogue of Satan, they are shills. It's as simple as that, okay? we got Michael Rood deceiving through uh, Hebrew language, Michael Calpino working with Jeff Benner deceiving through the Hebrew language, Charles Dowell working underneath Jeff Benner, uh, True Theory C3, uh, pointing people to corrupting the Bible. Nehemiah Gordon, pointing people to corrupting the Bible. Going to China, teaching people how to become Noahides. Um, all these people on my list that I have specifically um, researched in depth myself can be identified, okay? Um, when you are uploading on somebody, when you are going in depth and pointing at somebody and what they are doing that is against 
what is known of or what is taught by Jesus Christ in the Bible, um, you're a shill, okay? If you're pushing Zachariah Sinchin, who is a rabbi, um, you're a shill. If you're working controlled opposition to Zachariah Sitchin, a.k.a. Michael Heiser, you're a shill. Bill Snowblin, uh pretends he is a uh, ex-Illuminatist. Once you're an Illuminati, you are an Illuminati for the rest of your life. But who's on top? Who's on top of Illuminatus? That would be those I just pointed out in the very beginning. Revelation 2.9 and 3.9, okay? Chris White working with Michael Heiser. Um, Michael Sarian working controlled opposition to Chris White. David Icke or Ike working with Michael Sarian controlled opposition to Chris White, okay? Like I said, when you call somebody out, uh, George Norrie pushing the book of Enoch. Uh, Mike Dice working with Alex Jones protecting Israel. Uh, Jason Burmas, same thing, okay? Like I said, you know, I can go on and on and on. Dr. Stan Motif pointing out, pointing and promoting uh, uh, Ron Wyatt, okay, who claims he found the Ark of the Covenant. Len Horowitz working with Ionoclast Radio Paul, okay. Um, like I said before, you know, I can go on and on and on. These are people who I have studied in depth, okay. Doc Marquise, Illuminati claiming to be ex Illuminati, hell no. Chris Pinto, Calvinist, okay, working with. Um, Chris White and everybody else who pu uh, pushes his documentary that is pushing Saturnalian worship, okay, through uh, the Albigensians, the Cathars, yada, yada, yada. These are all Satanists, okay. Ionoclast Radio already mentioned. Um, you're basically pushing Eustace Mullins, pushing the the lie in regards to Ashkenazi Jews, Khazar Jews, people like that, okay, are the Ashkenazi and the Khazar Jews uh, to be pointed at by the Christian in regards to Revelation 2, 9 and 3, 9 or the synagogue of Satan? Absolutely not, okay? When you are pointing at Ashkenazi and Khazar, you are being misled, okay? You are being misled by the synagogue of Satan. The host of Ionoclast Radio or Iconoclast Radio, Sorry for that because it's a misspelling there. Let me fix that. Um, you are basically being misled, okay? Liberty Radio. You got all these people who are basically um, in bed with the synagogue of Satan. Neftali 1981 being pushed by P.P. Uh, Simmons. P.P. Simmons being pushed by Joseph Farah. Joseph Farah is a synagogue of Satan. He is a media organization who owns World Net Daily. Venom, Fa Venom Fang, whatever, uh, working alongside people like the Vigilant Christian. Okay, the Cosmic Truth. I was sorry to see the Cosmic Truth bow down to the synagogue, but Cosmic Truth was pushing uh, the Jesuit agenda, another agenda. There's always agendas, okay? When you get people like uh, Kent Hoven, Dr. Scott Johnson, Keith Thompson, you know, all these people all have agendas and they are all shills, okay? Why? Because they're protecting the synagogue of Satan. It's as simple as that. Dr. Scott Johnson might talk about Saturnalian worship and he might talk about the synagogue of Satan, but he is working for the synagogue of Satan. Keith Truth, um, very famous for pointing out um, Islam while making lots of money pointing out Catholicism, but he is a closet ca uh, Catholic himself. Why? Because he's a Calvinist. He's working for the synagogue of Satan. John Calvin was a member of the synagogue of Satan. He got Lone Star 1776 pushing the synagogue of Satan and he is a very dangerous person. The reason why Rudy Lone Star 70, uh, 1776 is dangerous because he's working with Joseph Farah, World Net Daily, a news media organization like Dabu 777, um, and he is basically trying to find out who's who as far as Christian identity, okay? People who have jumped on the bandwagon as far as Christian identity is concerned are Shepherd's Chapel students, uh, Dewey Tucker, um, William Fink, Pastor Alex, Jones. Alex Jones, Pastor Alex Jones, um, who's the other guy, the other guy that we called out with a really thick beard, he looks like a rabbi on the, um, what was his name, uh, James, Eli James, Eli James, right, okay, um, let's see who else, 
Thomas Gamble on the radio to deceive you. Okay, Todd, John Todd. Who was Todd, jo Todd John or John Todd? Nobody knew uh, John Todd disappeared one day, right? All right, um, you know, on and on and on. Um, Albert Rivera, uh, Seventh Day Adventist. Eric John Phelps, Calvinist. Um, Husky, 394 XP, pushing Ron Wyatt. Edwards, pushing the Holy Bible, King James Version. These people belong to a King James onlyist agenda another agenda okay uh, unbelievable that husky 394 xp and edwards pf 123 are pushing ron wyatt along with um let's see who's that other guy michael rude why would michael rude be pushing seventh day adventist ron wyatt because it's another agenda okay um eustace mullins we mentioned him earlier pointing out kazars and ashikanasis uh, Eustace Mullis is no longer with us, but was working under the tutelage of, um, who's that guy Eustace Mullis was working with? Um, um, that guy, that poet dude. Ezra Pound. Yeah, Ezra Pound, okay. Um, and like I said, I can go on and on and on, okay, because I do my research. I know um, every single one of these people, Walter J. Vyth, pushing the Jesuit agenda, pointing at Catholicism when he's a Seventh-day Adventist himself, okay, under who? Ellen G. White, Saturnalian worshiper, okay, everyone has an agenda, okay, Ertz Zundel, um, Ertz Zundel was trying to find out who's who, okay, he's still being pushed to this day. Take a really good look at Ernst Zundel. Does he look German to you? No, absolutely not. He looks like a canine. Okay, wake up. Give me a break. Joseph Schimmel, what is he pushing on his uh, all of his websites? He's selling Hollywood, okay? He's he's supposed to be a pastor. He was uh, supposed to protect the flock, but what is he doing? Exposing his flock to sexual uh, innuendos made by uh, Miley Cyrus's twerking problem. I mean, come on, give me a break. He's getting paid for that. Is, is that a Christian? No, absolutely not. Jim Wilhelmsman, pushing the book of Enoch, okay? I mean, L. A. Ms. Marzulli working with Chris White, uh, Russ Dizdar, uh, and all these people, okay? When you, like I said, and I can go on and on and on, all right? I can go on and on. Why? Because I spend my time checking out who's who. I want to know who's teaching what, who they are connected to, because remember, birds of a feather flock together always always okay um my uh my concern though is that when you have people who are shills themselves who are uploading about the ultimate shill list and they're not on that list themselves because of what they are doing themselves and in this case billy is pushing people to the nazi agenda so that people will not look at the synagogue of satan there's a problem okay you have a problem Okay, so if you're not able to call out and identify your list and who is on your list and why you feel they are a shill, then that makes you either stupid or you are a shill yourself. Okay, now I, like I said in the beginning, did not see True Theory 3 on this shill list. He is one of the biggest shills on the internet, okay? As far as everybody else is concerned on this list, um, I 100% agree, and some of these channels belong to Trample on Snakes 4 because he likes to work controlled opposition himself, okay? Um, when you upload and you are calling certain people out as a shill, uh, leave your comments open so that at least they can come around and defend themselves because, like I said in the beginning, um, you want to call me out, you better be ready to back your claims up because I'm going to turn around and call you out, but I am going to prove what I say in regards to what you are teaching against the Holy Bible. Okay, yeah, I see Danny Wilton on this list. Danny Wilton's a really nice guy. Um, is he a Christian? No, he doesn't claim to be a Christian either. He doesn't like Christianity as as well as most of these people on this um, um, list right here. Okay, um, but like I said, be careful. Okay, when you are being offered quote truth by a quote truther, um, that person should be able to 
specifically identify why he is calling out a particular person and he should be able to back up his claims because um, if you're not able to do that, um, you're a false accuser, okay? And there's a very, very good information in the Bible in regards to people who are accusing other people. Um, when you accuse people, better back yourself up, okay? Now, my name is on this list, um, and I am definitely going to ask this person, Billy Boy, the comedian of YouTube, um, specifically pointed out what am I doing and what am I saying that is untrue, okay? I'm calling out the synagogue of Satan, aka the Kenites, that trample on snakes right here is a, a family member of himself, okay? Anyways, hope you have a nice day.